You want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Build it and they will come. This is a New Jack City, homie. Turn up your sound component wherever you are right now. We check up the volume, we'll be able to tell what you have for lunch. The next hour is going to change everything you think you know about building your business, starting your business, and raising the money for your business. Show me the money! Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to another Reg A Money Show. This is Ron Costa live in the iHeart Radio studios here in Las Vegas with Miguel Dotris. Miguel, how are you doing today? Well, Ron, I am doing outstanding and improving today. And, you know, we here at the Reg A Money Show always bring our listeners the most current and up to date information going on in the Reg A plus industry with this new way to access capital markets. But we must step aside for just a moment because, you know, a few weeks ago, Ron, as you know, we got hit with a, with a massive hurricane here in Florida. And then we come back to Las Vegas. We have this terrible and tragic event that happened just down the street from the studios. And, uh, you know, it is, I, I think that, you know, we have to say a little something and give thanks to all the valets that became first responders. To give to give a shout out to to the police department. To give a to give a shout out to the hospitals, the doctors, the nurses, uh, the friends and family of all those people who helped pull their friends and and loved ones out of the harm's way. And also, I think it would be remiss if we didn't uh, send our condolences to the friends the families of all the ones who had lost someone uh, doing this tremendous, tremendous tragedy here in our hometown, right in the center of everything that is, that is great. Um, and to be, yeah. Yeah, to be the uh, that uh, I run, uh, we should, you know, we should say a little something. Yeah, it, it was a horrific scene. And, and like I mentioned, it, it reminded me of the way, the exact same way I felt on 9-11. You're just, feel like hopeless and mad at the same time and you just want answers and sometimes there there are none I mean who knows what drives people off the wall like that but the bottom line is like you said too um, Vegas came together as a community a lot of people think Vegas is just a gambling town but uh, that proved that there is solidarity everyone stepped up and like I said it's proud proud to call uh, Vegas my home after seeing uh, you know the response of the, the community over something like that it was really really touching and just, just amazing. And right now, you know, we, tonight, uh, Miguel, as you know, the Vegas Golden Knights, the hockey team, is playing their first game. And what they're really, what they're doing is they have, they have these jerseys with the back that says Vegas Strong, with the number 58 for sale. And the 58 obviously is in uh, tribute to the 58 people who lost their lives. So even the Vegas Golden Knights, they're doing a really cool thing for that too. Um, well, looking forward to the hockey game tonight. If nothing else, right? Yeah, it's amazing all the stuff that's going on. You got you you have uh, you have hockey. You know, pretty soon you guys are going to get a you guys are going to be a market to contend for a football team. You know, and you know Vegas is just sprouting all over the place. And and I think that you know the reggae money show has a big influence on that. That we've since we've gone on the show over the last year, all these things have happened. The good things for the city with our with our all our publicity and the things that are going on with the reggae money show and us being out of Vegas, I think has has brought a lot of attention and a lot of eyes to the city yes. that that weren't there as yes. a uh, not only is it a gambling place but now it's the center it's the center of 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 companies accessing capital markets uh, through the financial markets. What do you think about that, Ron? Yeah, no, that that's true as as well. And really, there's a lot of companies here that are looking to raise money. Reggae is there for, for them, for us, et cetera, and I think that you hit the nail on the head right now. You're, we're providing them with the information to do that. But, but another point of this, Miguel, is that a lot of people have these different ideas about reggae right now. It's getting very popular, and there's, there's uh, some people who say it's, it's cost prohibitive. Some people say it's, it's perfect. Some people, I mean, they, people really don't understand exactly how much a reggae costs to start to continue before it all, it all gets done. There's so much confusion about that point right now. And I think really what we should do in today's show is just kind of go do an overview, of, of realistically, not from somebody who doesn't know anything, they just hear it from uh, you know, a website or whatever. You're going to hear it from the Reggae Money Show people about exactly how much companies should be thinking to spend to get this thing going. And I know it's not like a $2 million like you use for a traditional IPA. Is that right? 
I pee all yeah, the time. I, 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 know you got beer, I know you got beer on the mountain. It's still a couple hours before our happy hour here in the studios <laughs> run. So, you know, yeah. So the, IP, so the IPO, okay, um, I, I think that's a great idea. You know, you, you guys, you know, as you know, you're listening to the Reggae Money Show with Ron Costa and me, Miguel Dotras. We host a show that gives people information in regards to how to access the capital markets through reggae funding, reggae, what's called reggae plus or uh, tier one, which we uh, like to do. So I think we take a break, and uh, when we come back, we go over exactly all the costs that are involved, Ron. Yeah, that sounds good. So, so stay tuned, everybody. We'll be right back with that information. <laughs> 